Transgendered bathrooms have come out of nowhere. The next stop on this train is pedophilia. I guarantee it. Guaranteed. In fact, he guarantees it so much he will commit pedophilia uh, just to make sure that this happens. I mean, the guy is an absolute moron, a legendary moron. I guarantee you pedophilia is next. Pedophilia is natural and normal, according to an academic presentation last year at the University of Wake Forest, Cambridge. The majority of men are probably pedophiles and hebophiles, and that pedophilic interest is normal and natural in human males. Pedophiles are grappling with what is equivalent to a sexual orientation, just like another individual may be grappling with heterosexuality, crazy, or even homosexuality. And if we agree on the fact that true pedophiles have an exclusive preference for children, which is the same as having a sexual orientation. So he uses language like sexual orientation there. That is not uncommon. Dr. James Cantor of CAMH, I recall in an interview with the Toronto Star, said, uh, referred to pedophilia as a sexual orientation. Like every other sexual orientation, pedophilia can have different characteristics. Anyone could be born a pedophile. We should accept that pedophiles are people who have not chosen their sexuality should accept that pedophilia is a sexual preference. Statistics indicate that there will be one or two of you who are struggling with some form of pedophilic interest. But the problem is, these people can't talk about their feelings because they know that they will be hated for it. However, it doesn't make sense. And that's because we're talking about biology. We're talking about a sexual orientation, something that we simply cannot change. There are some people who think attitudes and actions towards pedophiles should be adjusted. A small group of psychiatrists and other mental health professionals is advocating changes to the way the American Psychiatric Association defines pedophilia in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM saying those they call minor attracted persons are being unfairly stigmatized. Pedophilia is an affliction. Child molestation is a crime. There are two different things. One can be a state of mind, a thought, an attraction, an orientation. The other is an action. Does he confide in you when he sees a, a child, a young girl, and he's attracted to her or is aroused by uh, her, does he? I'll say there's a cute little six-year-old or an eight-year-old. She's a nice little kid. What do you think of her? Because I know where his attraction is. This morning, Netflix is under growing fire after its release of the award-winning French film, Cuties. Netflix says its own choice of artwork was inappropriate. God made us in her image and that girl ain't got no shame. So this movie called Desire was on Netflix and it says in the opening scene two little girls who look to be about seven and nine are playing horse on pillows. The older girl begins to obviously masturbate as the younger girl watches. The camera takes this scene into a close-up of the child's face in slow motion moving up and down and panting like a porn star. The scene is graphic and includes an orgasm. flagship broadcaster has just introduced a new children's show called John Dillermond that's essentially an animation about a man with a huge and uncontrollable penis. Now, you absolutely heard me right when I said this. This man has a penis so massive and flexible it can save children from danger, fetch objects from a river, and even operate as a pogo stick. And my five-year-old has a doll that looks like she's wearing bondage now. You guys, the same Balenciaga tied to child pornography court documents? Why choose this imagery? Why advertise with a cocktail of extreme sex, Satanism, and children? 
Why is this child half asleep on the couch while several wine glasses are blatantly displayed in the foreground? There are some real safeguarding concerns. Um, in we'll see. Fire. No, just, just, to, just to, sorry to interrupt you, but this is what we're looking at so, now. So it's a man upside down with a leopard print thong on. Which you that might see on the beach. Hey, bum out. I'm on the beach. I'm holding A beach and that is not comparable. Don't be so How ridiculous. It shows a man in drag lifting up his skirt and gyrating around while people throw money at him. And in the background, you can see a child who can't be more than, I don't know, six or seven years old. If you want to be a drag queen and your parents don't let you, you need new parents. This is This is the Drag to Kids to Pride event. Organizers promoted it as a family-friendly drag show. Clearly, it's fun for the whole family, approved for all ages. So are there children inside? Uh, yeah, there's three or four of them. So, But these girls are all fully closed. This is a PG performance, like it's for, it's family friendly. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, those days of Sodom and Gomorrah, and you know what was happening in those cities. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone down from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. We are living in that time. It is so clear, more clear than ever. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea Jesus has some strong words about those who try to corrupt the children in these last days. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. This is our responsibility to raise our children knowing the truth and to not let the secular world corrupt their minds. <laughs> 